Gary Portelli, you've already won a golden slipper with She Will Rain. Is it time to rain? <laughs> it has been today, that's for sure. Um, it's, it's almost like deja vu, isn't it? You know, um, I remember when we did the barrier draw here two years ago, it was coming down in like cats and dogs on this roof. You could barely hear the, uh, the interviews. So it's going to be certainly a testing track. Obviously the emotions are different. You've won it once before and you've been through it before, but just talk us through again. What's it like? This is the race everyone dreams of winning. I don't think you realise how much pressure you're under, actually. Um, um, until after the slippers run and won because these horses, as we all know, uh, wake up feeling differently like we do every day. So you're worried, are they going to catch a cold? Are they going to step on a stone in the way to track? Well, all these things are in the back of your mind every day you wake up. So until they get in the barriers, you're never really, you're not there. So it's a lot of pressure. You've had a great association with Derby Racing, of course, winning that slipper. Another big group of owners here, a good syndicate. What a great way to get into racing. It is, and I think that's um, th that was proven when she won the slipper. They ran second with Yankee Rose the, week, the year before, a $10,000 filly. They came out the following year and they asked me, because I was sort of in two minds whether I'd aim her at the slipper. I thought maybe she might be a blue diamond horse. And, and they said, look, we've had a taste of the slipper. Can we try and win it with this girl? And I actually thought when we made that decision that maybe we'd take the wrong path because she was so fast, I thought that she, you know, she might not be able to run a solid 1,200 out of a slipper. And um, anyway, they were right. Uh, I'm glad they were right because we aimed at the right race. And, uh, and what a ride that these owners went on. Um, who would have draw, dreamt that you pay $2,000 for a share in a racehorse and you've, you win $3.5 million in prize money? Um, yeah, that's what gets people into racing and I'm sure that opened the doors up to a lot of the other syndicators, a lot of other trainers. Um, racing has just really gone through the roof with the prize money, um, the integrity, the stewards have put it back into racing. I think that's a massive uh, positive at the moment. And some of the lucky owners of She Will Rain are in time to rain as well. Exactly right. You know, they uh, they stumped up again. And uh, who'd have thought? You know, we dreamt that we'd, you know, I think we took a photo of me holding him after we bought him at the Magic Million sale with the Golden Slipper trophy. And, and the dream was there. Can we win another one? And here we are. It's just crazy stuff. Yeah. Gary, all the very best on Saturday. We hope to see you there again. Thank you very much.